Very flamboyant design. It is here even before the city existed. A building performed for you. We initially thought it is not a real skeleton. It was the Emperor Bakery. This attraction involved a lot of walking. The oldest brewery here in Reading. Today we start our day here at Munich, Germany and our very first attraction of the day is the church behind us called the Assam Church. So what's so interesting about this church other than the fact that it is quite a narrow church? It is a private chapel built by the Assam family and they bought four houses here, one, two, three, four, and demolished the second and the third house to build the church. From the inside of the church, there are a lot of small details and the architecture and the design are very unique compared mm. to any other church that we visited so far. It's termed as a very flamboyant design. Pretty interesting place to visit if you are in Munich, Germany. But do take note that every day around 10 to 11, they are closed for visitors because it's their holy mass. So yeah, join us as we explore more of Munich today and we will see you at each of the attraction. Bye-bye! And our second attraction is this plaza behind us and it's called the Marian Platz. It's a modern shopping center with a very old facade. As you can see, there's a lot of people trying to take pictures of it. On Marian Platz itself, there is a famous clock. It's called the Ratas Glockenspiel. So this is the most delightful clock in the world and it will perform three times a day. 11 a.m., 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. Mm. Beside the clock, there is a pillar called the Mariam Pillar. Overall, it's a very nice square to head to if you are in Munich and if possible, stay to view the performance because it's very rare that you see a building perform for you <laughs> or a clock perform for you. We are probably heading to our next attraction which is just a few minutes walk away and it is the St. Peter's Cathedral. Another very unique building. Actually, the architecture here is very different. So you have the white buildings in front of us and all the different buildings and suddenly you have this gothic style plaza. And just now, just a few minutes walk away is the Assam Church, which is another architecture style. Very special place, definitely worth a visit if you're in Munich. Just a few steps away from Marine Platz, this is the St. Peter's Church and this is the oldest church in Munich. It is here even before the city existed. Even though it's really old, it is very well maintained and while we were here, they were actually still doing some maintenance to this building. And as you enter the church on your left, there is a glass coffin bearing the skeleton of St. Mundicia. We initially thought it is not a real skeleton, but as it turns out, it is a skeleton. And she is holding a glass of blood. Okay, we will head to our next attraction and we'll see you when we get there. We are here at the Munich Daily Market and even though we are very full from our lunch, we still decided to buy a pretzel from the bakery behind. So in the olden days, it was the Emperor Bakery. So definitely cannot miss this and we bought a pretzel. From the online website, they mentioned that the pretzel is the specialty of this bakery and also the specialty of Germany. So yep, let me have another bite. It tastes exactly like the pretzel snack but we have an additional layer of bread in this pretzel. They call it pretzel here. Very good. And we bought the smaller size one. They also sell a bigger size one. I think it's a five times of this size. So you can consider to buy that if you haven't had any food before you come here. Do remember to visit this bakery when you are here at the Munich Daily Market. I'll put the Daily Market name here because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. And we are just done visiting another attraction here in Munich and you can see that we are sitting down and the reason why is because this attraction involved a lot of walking. The attraction is the Resident Museum. It is a very huge 
place to visit and it took us about two and a half hours to visit the entire attraction and so like most of the residences or like most of the palaces that we have visited it has a lot of different rooms and this has probably the most room open for visitors even though we didn't count how many rooms we visited but from the description there are 130 rooms in this residence so most of the rooms are also as nice and as grand as the other palaces or the other castles that we have visited but I think that the rooms here are a little bit more practical and not really very lavish design mm. I think the most lavish still goes to the Palace of Versailles <laughs> Nothing can beat the palace If you were to read its history, you will know why It took a lot of effort and probably lives to construct the palace I think there is also a very big difference between the Palace of Versailles and the Residence Museum. That is the style of the Palace of Versailles is more of the Gothic style. And for here, they are using like the white wall with gold mm. border. I personally feel it's more stylish. We are not trying to compare the Palace of Versailles with the Residence Museum here in Munich, but because the Palace of Versailles was the previous attraction that we visited that is very similar to this attraction. Both are good though. If you are in Paris and if you are in Munich, visit both of them. Yep. It's definitely worth the visit. Here in this resident museum, the ticket to tour the residence and the palace is 9 euros but you can also top up to tour the treasury as well as the theatre so because we don't really have much time we only visited the residence and the palace and yeah I think we are already very very tired from all the walking most of the attraction here in Munich is actually very close to each other so most of the time you will be walking to each of them be prepared if you want to cover all of them within a day you probably have to walk quite a lot so next up, we will be heading for dinner and we will see you when we get there. Bye bye. bye, -bye. A tip about Google Maps is that if you look at a city or look at an area and it will most of the time show you some small pictures of very famous attractions. And this is actually one of them. We are now in Hofbrau House, Munich. And this is a very, very old brewery. It is one of the oldest or the oldest brewery here in Munich. The fun fact about this brewery is that Hitler actually formed his Nazi party here. And this has been used for their base of operations throughout the war. And that is also why towards the end of the war, this building has been severely bombed. But it has since been re-renovated and it is now a restaurant as well as a beer garden. So we are here of course to taste their original beer So it doesn't have the very bitter taste like most beer have We are not really beer drinkers But this beer, we actually do like it a lot Very refreshing, not very very bitter Very very good beer Our first dish has arrived and it is the original sausage They call it the original HP sausage Add a little bit of mustard, taste that Not as salty as I expected Actually you can really taste the meat and the, I guess it's pork really well Normally these kind of sausages they are very salty and you can actually taste that it is a bit processed but this one is pretty good Definitely a good start We will have this while we wait for the main dish which is the pork knuckle Thank you Our pork knuckle has arrived and it looks really very delicious it smells very delicious also so let's see how crispy it is this is the crispy test it is very hard to cut almost there yes okay the crispy test very crispy very fat really very very good <laughs> Okay, Bonnie said to save some for her so I won't eat the rest. I shall go on to the meat. There's actually quite a lot of meat here. I just cut a small piece. Oh, the side is actually quite fatty also. I think you need some skill to dissect this pork knuckle. Taste test for the meat. Wow, the texture is really very very good. I almost couldn't imagine this is pork. It actually tastes like a chicken drumstick. Very very good texture, smooth, soft, tender. Very good. If you are here in Munich, come here and buy their pork knuckle and get their original beer and get their sausage. Double thumbs up. We initially thought this was potato but it turns out to be some kind of a flour or dough. When we bite into it, it feels like we are eating kueh but it doesn't have any taste to it. So we need to dip a lot of the sauce 
really neat. Very chewy. Doesn't have a taste. It's just very chewy, like chewy dough. Very much like the kueh without the sugar. Very interesting. Our after meal dessert because we are very tired and we don't want to search for another dessert shop. So we ordered the apple scudo. I feel that the apple scudo is slightly small, but if it tastes good, mm, it is worth it. There is a lot of sauce around the apple scudo, so I will taste it with the sauce. It is very different from the apple scudo that we usually eat, in the sense that they put on raisin, apple, and the top layer is just a thin layer of the pie skin. At the bottom also is another thin layer of pie skin, then in the middle is all the apple slices. And then the sauce, give me a feeling that it is actually coconut. Oh, and based on the menu, they mentioned that the sauce is a vanilla sauce. So overall, it is a very unique apple scudo. I think this is a German style apple scudo, so you can try this while you are here. I think I'm a bit drunk, so I don't know what I'm talking now. <laughs> We are now beside a river at English Garden. Yes, you didn't hear me wrong. This is a river. This is a very unique river in the sense that a lot of people will surf here. And I feel that it's really a very good place to surf because the wave is always here. <laughs> you don't need to wait for the wave to come. It's also very interesting to watch people surf. This is our last attraction in Munich. And we hope you enjoy watching our video. We will see you in our next video. Bye bye.